You must leave now, take what you need, you think will last. But whatever you wish to keep, you'd better grab it fast. He understands your orphan with his gun. It's an enormous privilege to, to be here um, for just a few minutes having a chat to the, to the artist. I realized that this is my path, path since I was 14 because I knew that I, have, uh, I can do anything I want in painting. Now, this is the layperson's view. This is the outsider's view. I have to say, I don't know what you think, ladies and gentlemen, but for me, what is so stunning about this work is the contrast on the one hand between some really quite difficult and powerful and poignant images, sometimes suggesting death, yeah. let's face it, and these vibrant colors that are almost overwhelmed, these vibrant, vibrant colors. The death gives the life its meaning. Try to explore it also in many ways. And of course, one of the ways in which you're exploring it is with the cues. Tell me about cues. The, the, this cue that you are looking at is a symbol. Oh, okay. It's not the England cue. It's not, an English, it's not a nice English cue. Um, I'm interested about how people could gather and follow ideas and how easily people can lose their uh, uh, particularity. Hmm? Their right, particularity, the right their individuality. And individuality, yes. And how easily they can be part of uh, any group. How, how, how easy could man uh, control a group than controlling one person? So, how, so the individuality is it's very important. Did you hear that? How you much easier me? it okay. might be to control a group than to control an individual that's person? Nice. That's quite yeah, profound. That's what forgive me, but I think that's quite, that's quite profound. And forgive me also for asking about your feelings about your homeland. Because, yeah. you know, when I think of queues, I mean, as you say, some people think of nice English queues for yeah. groceries and buses. Buses, don't we love buses? Bus <laughs> queue. But, but actually, as a human rights campaigner, I yeah. often would think of the queue as a queue of displaced people, as a queue of refugees. And, yeah. and you, are a dis you are an artist living away from your homeland. Of course it might be affecting, because it affects my life and my family life, so it's uh, normally to affect my art. Well, I, I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but I think that that pain is being put to great effect. And as a, a mere recovering lawyer, scruffy human rights campaigner, I have been vindicated in a view that I've had for a long time, that it's art and culture that changes the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please, this was Sarah Shama. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sami.